Hi, homeschoolers. I'm Shannon from Captivating Compass, and I am excited to be with you again talking about technology education today. Um, and you know, over at Captivating Cus Compass, we use the world as our textbook and our classroom. And today, you know, everything is moving and geared toward technology. And I wanted to talk with you and give you some tips to help you um, kind of navigate technology education in your homeschool. So I just want to jump right in and get going with it because there's a lot of information to share here. So I need to let you know that I received a free coding class from my tech labs and I was compensated for my time. I'm not required to give a positive review and all of the opinions are 100% my own and that of my family and our experience with my tech lab. All right, so there is a journey when you're looking at at coding classes and we have definitely had that journey and you can read about that journey on Captivating Compass. I will link to a, a variety of different posts that I have on coding um, in the notes. <clears throat> so the first thing that in talking with my son about his experience with my tech labs and with coding classes in general is the first thing was that there is so much information and that computer coding classes they've introduced us to the wonders of the internet and how easy it is to use the resources and the programming tools there. And the other thing that I thought was really interesting that he shared was that he felt like he was future proofing his education. So by learning to program computers, he's learning about the present and the future technologies. And he's learning about things like augmented reality and blockchain and so much more. And I'll be honest, a lot of the things that he's learning, I would not have been able to properly guide him with and toward without the expertise of the people at my tech lab. So I am really grateful for the information that they have given us um, and the guidance that they've given us. So one of the other things is the connections that my son has made. He's participating in law online computer programming community, and that's allowed him to find like-minded friends who he can kind of nerd out with um, and work together, create fun projects, silly projects, but learn really well this whole um, arena of computer programming and technology education. So he is really enjoying those connections that he's made there too. So a couple other things are that he's talked about branches of resources. So he's found that there's a solid, well-balanced computer programming resource that those that cover many avenues of technology from pixel art to simple programming to server side and sql all the way over to robotics that he feels like that is one of the pieces that you want to look for when you're looking for technology education for your kids another thing you want to look for is community so the perfect computer learning community should be a friendly and welcoming but environment with fun challenges and projects that meet the goals of the course, but also um, aren't boring. So, and my tech lab has those and they are really, um, really enjoyable. He has had a lot of fun with them. The other thing that my son mentioned was a playground. So instead of just teaching you how, or teaching my son how to use the tools, the to a top notch computer programming course should provide the tools and resources to allow the students to make their own websites and games if they so wish. So it's kind of a techie playground where learning is hands-on and fun. And that has been really one of those places that has seen my son thrive as he has taken on more and more knowledge and information and understanding about computer programming. So when you're teaching technology education in your homeschool, what I've found is that you want to make a good choice to find a single solid computer programming school that's geared toward your life, your, like your learning style. So ours is flexible um, and it allows us to learn computer coding and create within that playground community and make those connections. So it's a solid base of learning, a place to ask questions 
and um, and a lot of fun. And that really has been what we have found in my tech lab. And so I encourage you to read the whole blog post that we've put together about tech teaching technology education in your homeschool. You can read all the tips there and you can learn a little bit more about our experience with my tech lab and the classes we've taken with them. So I want to say thanks for joining me today and thank you to My Tech Lab for their outstanding classes and support and community and playground that my son actually thoroughly loves and um, is really eager and excited for the upcoming courses they have in the next school year.